This is the text-to-speech podfic reading of Splits by Aqua Myasotis. Sirius woke up feeling chipper. It was Saturday, he didn't have a hangover and a quick glance over to his half-drawn curtains told him that the sun was shining. He threw back the duvet, intent on making himself a large pot of coffee. Maybe he'd pop down the road to the bakery that did the good almond croissants, maybe he'd get a chocolate twist for Remus, the world was his oyster. Shimmying on a pair of purple, silk pajama bottoms and not bothering with a shirt he strode towards the door, stopping briefly to check his reflection in the mirror. Looking good, handsome. He threw himself a wink, because why the fuck not, he deserved it. Making his way along the landing he could hear the familiar sounds of Daft Punk drifting through the closed door. Smiling at the thought of seeing Remus, he always smiled at the thought of seeing Remus, he sped up his steps and then threw open the door with a flourish. Good morning Moo. What? Sirius stopped abruptly, swallowing hard. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Remus said, looking at Sirius from where his head was between his legs. I'm doing yoga. Yes, but since when do you do yoga? Remus righted himself and Sirius's good mood began to fizzle ominously into one of despair. Remus's hair was all poofy. Sirius loved it when it was all poofy, it looked so soft and sweet and tuggable. Sirius enjoyed thinking about Remus's tuggable hair. In the shower, usually. I've always wanted to be a yoga person. Remus shrugged, giving his head a little shake, his face pink from being upside down. This is literally the first time I have ever heard you mention this and I've known you for nine years. What can I say? Remus answered conversationally and he leaned back, stretching his back out and letting out what Sirius thought was frankly an unnecessarily obscene moan for a Saturday morning before coffee. And a shower. Where he would not be thinking about Remus's tuggable hair and pink face. Obviously. I'm full of surprises. I'll say. Sirius muttered having to make a conscious effort to drag his eyes away from the grey joggers Remus was wearing which, really, left nothing to the imagination. Just don't, I don't know, start juicing everything or whatever it is healthy people do for breakfast. Nah. Remus hummed, rolling his shoulders and reaching for the tartan blanket lying on the sofa and pulling it around his shoulders. You're going to go and get me a chocolate twist. What? Sirius spluttered. How did you know that? Remus laughed and patted Sirius on the cheek. Because you're my padfoot. He tucked a stray strand of hair behind Sirius's ear. I'm going to make a cup of coffee, want one? Sirius fumbled to open his text messaging app and his hands shook as he scrolled for his my ride or die chat. Code fucking red. OMG what? Mooney has taken up yoga. Ha 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 ha. You're screwed mate. And so it continued, every morning Sirius awoke, full of the joys of living a free and full life and every morning he'd stroll towards the living room, with the purpose of making himself a nice hot drink, or maybe grabbing a glass of orange juice and every morning there Remus would be. Sunday, on his back. Monday, on his front. Tuesday, on his knees. By Wednesday Remus had lost the shirt and Sirius thought his brain might be melting. Again Sirius fumbled to open his my ride or die chat. His shirtless prongs. Shirtless. Position. Downward fucking dog. Woof. On Thursday, after Sirius had walked in on Remus with his legs spread and chest almost pressed against the floor, Sirius decided it was time for a new tactic so Friday saw him foregoing his usual leisurely stroll towards the kitchen. He left the safety of his bedroom with one goal and one goal only, to get in and get out. No longer were his mornings to be sabotaged with visions of curly-haired men with long limbs bent in ways that Sirius didn't even know were possible. And boy could Sirius think of better ways to bend them, around his waist perhaps, thrown over his shoulders around his neck. He gave himself a shake. Not today, Satan. 
Feeling a renewed sense of purpose he pulled open his bedroom door. Silence. No music. The living room door already open. Sirius almost sagged with relief, the ordeal was over. No more yoga. With a pep in his step he strutted down the hallway, through the yoga-free living room and into the kitchen. Morning pads. Sirius nearly jumped out of his skin because there was Remus. Upside down, legs propped up against the fridge. Um, Sirius said eloquently, struggling to focus on anything that wasn't Remus's arm straining. Hi. Remus laughed and then winked. Well, Sirius thought he winked, it might have been a grimace. Remus's face was slowly going purple. Grab my thighs would you? What? Sirius squeaked, again the pinnacle of eloquence and now of course he was staring at Remus's thighs. He reckoned his earlier musings had been right. They would look amazing wrapped around his. Pads. Any time today. Remus was wobbling ominously. Shit, sorry. Sirius snapped out of his rather pleasant daydream and stepped forwards, grasping both Remus's thighs and carefully lowering him down so he was lying on the floor. There you go. Thanks. Remus looked up at him, dimpled smile and all. Sirius wondered if wobbly legs could be contagious. Did you sleep well? Sirius's phone was out again quickly navigating to his My Ride or Die chat. Nowhere is safe. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Take it the plan didn't work then? It did not. At least Mooney has nice thighs. It was Saturday, however, that finally broke Sirius. Looking back Sirius was surprised he'd lasted that long. He was sure stronger men than him would have cracked after a week, a whole fucking week, of bending and stretching and moaning and groaning in too many showers to count. Sirius dragged his feet along the hallway, his head was banging and it was raining. All he wanted was a cup of coffee, maybe a piece of toast with Marmite and to crawl back into bed to nurse his sins, perhaps contemplate his existence for a bit. He pushed open the living room door and stopped dead. Sirius was quite sure this was it. He was going to expire, standing here with unbrushed hair and his fingers still greasy from the cheesy chips he and Remus had shared on the walk home last night was Remus, in a full split. A full fucking split. Legs stretched out either side and his chest pressed against the floor. Morning, Remus said, tipping his head to the side to look at Sirius with an innocent smile. Nope. Sirius said, turning on his heel and making back towards his bedroom. Not this morning. Not today. What? Pads wait. Remus scrambled to get up, the waistband of his infernal grey joggers slipping down to reveal glass cut hip bones. Sirius felt himself beginning to splinter. And then as Remus took a step towards him it happened, Sirius cracked. This. Remus, all this. He flapped his arms at him. Stretching and moaning and bending yourself in half. I can't do it anymore. But, Remus said, looking bewildered. You're not doing it. I am. Exactly. I can't take it anymore. And these? He reached out and tugged at the band of Remus's joggers. These Remus Lupin are fucking obscene. I am but one man, Mooney. And, with what he hoped was one last dramatic flourish, he turned and stormed back into his bedroom slamming the door behind him and flinging himself face first on the bed. It didn't take long. Sirius hadn't even pulled himself together enough to roll over onto his back when there was a soft knock on the door. Pads. The door creaked open and Sirius heard Remus padding across the room and felt the bed dip. New phone, who dis? Remus laughed and a warm palm brushed over the sole of his foot, stopping to squeeze briefly. I think that only works if you're actually on the phone. Uh. Sirius groaned, rolling over and looking determinately up at the ceiling before he closed his eyes. Don't you have more splits to be doing? I don't know. Remus said and Sirius's eyes snapped open. Remus's voice definitely wasn't usually that husky. Do I, Sirius? 
Sirius pushed himself up on his forearms and Remus reached forward to grasp his wrist, tugging him forward further so Sirius almost toppled into his lap. Sirius. Sirius leaned in, it was now or never. Oh my god. Sirius whimpered as Remus pressed deeper into him. Oh my god. You keep saying that. Remus panted, sweat beating on his forehead as he dragged his hips back and then snapped them forwards, hard. Oh my god. Sirius moaned again. I think I'm dying. You're not dying. Remus huffed, picking up the pace. You're fine. I am absolutely not fine. Sirius let his head loll to one side. I can't believe I'm being railed by Remus Lupin. He let out a particularly non-sexy grunt, not that Remus seemed to care as he looked down at him, eyes wild. You're so fucking sexy. Remus said, leaning down and burying his face in the juncture of Sirius's neck and shoulder. Unk. Sirius said, very articulately. Says you. I've been wanking to the image of you with your legs in the fucking air every night for the past week. I know. Remus said, lifting his head, with a smirk that made Sirius's cock twitch. I can hear you now. The walls are thin. Well. Sirius stuttered on a particularly forceful thrust. Next time. He grabbed Remus's arse, dragging him forwards. Next time you can watch, you bendy fucker. Yes please. Remus purred, stilling his hips and eliciting a desperate whine from Sirius. Why have you stopped? Please re. I've got you babe, don't worry. I'm going to try something yet. Sirius nodded, willing to admit that he would agree to just about anything Remus suggested at that particular moment in time. He gasped as Remus sat up a little, lifting Sirius's right leg and throwing it over his shoulder. Oh fuck. Sirius shouted out as Remus shifted and sparks licked up his spine. Yes, yes, shit. Yeah. Remus asked, which Sirius thought was entirely unnecessary considering the garbled noise that had just left him. I'm not the only bendy one hum. The other. Um hum. Sirius moaned and Remus took that as a yes, grasping his other leg, pressing a soft kiss to the inside of his thigh and propped it over his other shoulder. Sirius was rendered mute. Afterwards, as they lay, hands clasped together, sticky and sated and completely exhausted Remus turned to him. So, can I stop the yoga now? What? The yoga, it's so bloody boring. What? Sirius sat up. You told me you wanted to be a yoga person. You've been doing it all week. You can do that handstand thing. Yeah, I like the idea of being a yoga person, but in reality. Remus shrugged. I may have had an ulterior motive. And now I've had it. You're a little shit Lupin. Sirius said, although he couldn't bring himself to be too outraged. An orgasm or two will do that to you he supposed. He gave Remus a little kick instead and Remus rolled on top of him, pinning him to the mattress. Yes but it worked didn't it? Fuck you. Didn't it? No. Remus bent down and licked a stripe from the base of Sirius's neck, trailing his tongue over his Adam's apple to the hinge of his jaw. Sirius felt his cock stir, chubbing up against his thigh. Fine. Yes, it worked. Good boy. Remus whispered, lips ghosting over Sirius's own. And anyway, I'd much rather get my stretching in in other ways. With a smoldering look, which Sirius mentally locked away for tomorrow's shower, Remus sat up and moved to the end of the bed. Sirius let out a slow breath as he watched Remus roll his shoulder, back muscles rippling and then he spread his legs, stretching them out, into a perfect split. He bent forward, torso pressed against the bed, hips tilting and giving Sirius a view that he'd be quite happy to make his last. Come on Black. Remus looked over his shoulder coquettishly. Help me stretch out. Sirius pounced. Finite. Thanks for listening to this text to speech podfic composed by Burning Aurora.